lovely Paddy McGuinness joins us now. You are you are live on this morning. That was Welcome. nearly very. <laughs> please do not swear. Very hashtag cancelled. <laughs> not at all. Not yeah, at all. Yeah. But it looks amazing. It's a new show. It's called Tempting Fortune. Yeah. What's it all about then? So basically, we've took twelve people out to South Africa, yeah. and they've got an eighteen-day trek. And if they get to the end of these 18 days, they win £300,000. But the snag is along the way, they'll get offered temptations. So it'll be uh, a coffee, because they're on rice and beans every day, so it'll be a coffee. But that coffee might be a grand. It's a lot of money. A lot of, yeah. Not if you live in London. Those temp Cheapest shit. <laughs> People in London going, what? what? That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> what's the problem? Um, but then that goes off the prize fund. So people are taking temptations already. I mean, the, the, it, it started last week. And there's a girl on it called Lani, who I love to bits, but she doesn't give a monkey. Does she not? She's like, I'm at day one. <laughs> I'll Milkshake, I'll have it. they are like, hang <laughs> on, we've not even milkshake. started. Let's let's do a bit of hardship first. And how, say how much would a milkshake or a burger be? I think they're, well, they're like. A grand, five grand. And those things, you know, if there's 18 of them, are that... But we build, we build stuff out in the jungle. We've built spas, we've built <laughs> diners. It's, it's bonkers, but it's really good. And I was on Twitter last week when it first started and everyone were onto it, which is always good, and I yeah. was on there... Cos I'm watching it as... The, I've not seen it. I, did, I thought, no, I'll not watch it. I'll watch it live like everyone else. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I've proper got into it myself. Great. But if someone actually leaves, this is where the dilemma comes in. If somebody leaves, yeah. that's about £25,000. Each person's worth £25,000. So if there's a couple of people in the group who's winding everyone up, yeah. they can't even get rid of them. They've got to encourage them to stay, even though they're using all the money, because if they leave, it's twenty five grand a person. Oh so it's goodness. 18 people, right? 12 people. So 12 people, 18 days. Switch trip. on. Yeah. <laughs> Switch on. So... That's so that, and they get tempted. To, so three hundred thousand pounds is an awful lot of money, but I'd say that gets whittled down, or potentially gets whittled down pretty quickly. It does, but I can't give too much. It, it, it's the, the second lot starts this Sunday. Sunday and Monday it's on, so it's a double bill. Yeah. We did that last week, and that's when it, all that kind of stuff kicks in. Really interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did you like it's, that? It's quite a good social experiment, really, yeah. without sounding too, you no, know. No, no. But it's it, it really is, and it because some people kind of go, do you know what? I'm going to take the temptations because I'll never get this chance again. Yeah. And I'll take a little bit less prize money, but I'm going to enjoy myself when I'm there. Mm. And other people are like, no, not touching anything. I'm going to make it to the end. So it's interesting how, how the dynamic changes. I'd like to... I'd definitely be tempted by, with a shower. I'd want a shower. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, and I'd want the milkshake, I'm not going to lie. What, My, what would you be tempted with? Mine's tea and coffee. I'd be the really? same every day, yeah. Tea so you can't do without that? Not, not with three kids. <laughs> I've got to have at least... Eight cups of coffee. <laughs> First thing in the morning. Yeah, coffee would be my... Would be my really? Yeah. Quite definitely. Can I just say as well, we're here? Bake Off, well done. Oh, my uh, goodness, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Well, talking uh, about I Bake just off. want to put it out into the ether here. Yeah. I'm on ITV, you're on ITV. I go to the Beeb. You come to the beef. I do channel for you though. Stop <laughs> following me. It's because I love Stop you. this. It's because I love you. Enough. I can see your voice. I've been following you. I know, exactly. <laughs> Get your own gigs, Ammon. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of giving you a leg up constantly. <laughs> In the business. Paddy, you, you're on Celeb Bake Off, so what's Alison got to look forward to? On my episode, not so much, <laughs> to be honest. No, I loved not, it, though. You're not really a baker, but you turned out to be a very good baker. I right? got into it. Well, what, what was interesting about being there... Oh, I've never seen this. Uh, when, when I'm with the other... Oh, that's not a good look. <laughs> when, I was, when I was with the other... Why, well, like, right, you imagine. haven't seen that before? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I was with the other contestants before we started uh, oh, recording, they were yeah. all going... Right, well, we tried it last night and the time is rough. Sure, and I'm, I'm thinking everyone's practice. Another I'd match. done nothing. And I promise you, I just turned up on the day. As you can see, we go again. Oh, oh. that looks really you know good. That, you know that? Size. That, the, what I'm doing, yeah. that's all down to Hollywood. Paul. <laughs> Good. Not the place. Paul Hollywood. What, did he give you some ideas? I, I'm calling him out. <laughs> the man's a fraud. <laughs> he gave me a load of tips. I put him into action. I followed him by the letter. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Disaster. Absolutely. I want to see that man's baking credential. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely loved pa Max and Paddy. Yeah. Is, there a, is it ever going to come back? Do you ever have discussions? I, uh, yeah, I saw this. This this was kind of... Uh, people have got onto this at a minute. I did an interview not long ago, and all I said is, which we had, we'd wrote a couple of Christmas specials yeah. a long, long time ago with a plan to doing them, and it just never happened. So they're there, 
but there's no certainly no um, nothing scheduled in or anything. Like, I'd love to because. It's just like when you're working with your mates. Yeah. It's like, not work, is it, really? You just have so a laugh. So we could come like out. You just have a laugh yeah. Yeah. every day kind of thing. So with the Peter K stuff, some of the characters you did were like... They're, they're the age you are now when you were playing them back in the day, right? That's right, yeah. Quite fun. Yeah, I know, I know. And now he's touring again and, and you know, it was so great to see him out again doing yeah. this thing. But you had a little, you had a one-on-one -on -one with him, didn't you? Yeah, so <laughs> before he... he before he, he, he rings me up and going on tour, I'm like, why? Why are you bothering? But he went, I want to do it, I want to get out there. So he did it, and uh, I went round his house, and he, he said, I'll do it for you now. I'll do I'll do, do the the actual act. Just me and him, no-one else. Really? And, and I know fans of his were like, I'd give me a right hand for that. Me, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've just come round for a brew, and, you know, it's a bit of a chat. So he gets up, slippers on, Georgia has the jog <laughs> jogging pants, <laughs> T-shirt. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Does the like the does it all? And if you've seen the show, which by the way is amazing, the ending's unbelievable. But if you've seen the show live and you know the ending, imagine that being acted out in his front room. <laughs> just to so, you. Just to me, yeah. So I've seen it. So when everyone's going, have you been seen? I go, oh, I've I've seen it HD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but apparently wanna, you're what? part of his jokes as well. Have you seen that bit? It'll not be the first time, won't be the last, Alison, let me tell you. No, I've not seen any of that. He, probably didn't he kept that, do that bit out, <laughs> funny enough. Yeah. It must be good to see. I mean, you know, when you said, why would you do it? He's, he's a live animal, isn't he? It's Listen, what he does. The, the thing is with Pete, he transcends stand-up and all that. The, when he does live shows, the, the demand and everything else, there's no-one like him yeah. and there'll be no-one after him. He's a one-off. Uh, but because I, you know, grew up with him and everything else, it's like any, if you've got a mate, they're your mate, and yeah. I don't really see that sure. side. I see this side when you sit down together and you're putting the world to rights and this, that and the yeah, other, yeah, yeah. talking about what we all telly or whatever. Yeah. So I don't see that side, but it, it's... Uh, it, it's I'm proud to sort of know yeah. him, you know what I mean, and yeah, see yeah. what he does. Listen, man, thank you. Tempting for hey, to continue... well cut off, Dermot. Uh, got Marty Pello downstairs. He's more important. Channel 4. Marty Pello is hey. coming up. Oh, he's so, there! There's the Pello! Come on, son. Yes! <laughs>